guys. Just going to wait a minute or so before we get started. All right, so uh, here we are for the live stream class. This is going to be a force focus. Uh, just in case you don't know me, my name is Richard Stauffer. I'm from CFB Edmonton. Uh, make sure before we get started here to get yourself a little bit of water. Uh, have a 20 to 50 pound sandbag ready to go, which I have just down here. And um, I'm not going to be playing any music, so uh, just be aware you're going to be responsible for your own tunes for today. All right, I've done my best to kind of set up my camera, make sure uh, you can see everything I'm doing. Uh, if for whatever reason I get out of frame there, you can't hear or see me, please let me know. Okay, we'll start up in just a minute. Okay guys, so here we go. In response to COVID-19, PSP is offering online telefitness classes to the Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, telefitness classes tailored to CAF members become accessible to all. Prior to participating in this session and to make sure an informed decision is made on whether you should seek medical advice from a qualified professional or healthcare provider, Consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document. By continuing with this telefitness class, you understand that there's a possibility of physical injury and you agree that you do so voluntarily at your own risk. You also assume all risk of injury and agree to release the CAF, or pardon me, the Canadian Forces, Morale and Welfare Services from any and all claims related to your participation in this telefitness class. That being said, I don't think anybody's going to get hurt. Um, we're definitely going to kind of be starting things up relatively uh, slowly and you'll definitely be allowed to go at your own pace. Okay, so in that, uh, in that vein, we are going to start with a little bit of a warm up. Now you guys know that I like the world's greatest stretch, so uh, I'm going to begin with that. We are going to start out taking a big step backwards, just like that right there. I want you to squeeze your glute on that back leg and push the hips forward. So you get a nice stretch down the front of this leg here, down that hip flexor. You're going to squeeze your abs a little bit still, and you're going to look over this side here for one to three breaths. Then you're going to take that forward hand, throw that up in the air, and you're going to reach that shoulder up, turn the body even a little bit. Nice stretch through here, still keeping that hip flexor stretch. Perfect. From here, reach both hands down, 
lift that back leg up and you're going to gently allow the hips to sink in between both feet there reach up with that hand towards ceiling so if my right leg's forward my left hand is down swing the hand towards the outside of the foot knee comes down shift back into a nice little hamstring stretch we got another option for this part of the stretch I'll show you that when we do the other round. Now we're going to switch sides. Switch glute, push hip forward. One to three breaths there. Nice stretch for the front of the hip, focusing up on that. Then we're going to look over our forward leg for one to three breaths. I'm taking it on the shorter end for sure. This time around, closer to that one breath and those three breaths in each position. Perfect. Both hands down, pop that back leg towards the wall behind you. Allow those hips to sink down here. Inside arm goes up towards ceiling. We're reaching the hand up around the outside of the foot. Knee comes down this time around. And we're getting into that hamstring stretch. Awesome. Okay, uh, next thing, we are going to do a little bit of uh, a hamstring specific stretch, squat stretch. So we are going to get first in that squat position, feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Position you may perhaps pick the sand up, or sandbag up uh, in, a little bit of foreshadowing for later on. Uh, you're going to take those hands out just like this, and you're going to get yourself in a nice deep squat. You're going to squeeze your shoulder blades back, chest as up as you can make it, elbows pushing the knees apart. You're going to exhale into a hamstring stretch. Your knees don't need to lock out. You're just holding on to your feet there, just resting on your feet a little bit. Back into here. Once again, one to three breaths in each position. Again, nice stretch for the back of the leg here. One more time in this position. All right. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to warm up uh, the glutes, specifically the glute med here. We're going to do some clamshells. I don't have a band on. You guys are familiar with this exercise. You like throwing a band around the tops of the bottoms of your knees or both. Uh, feel free to do that. We're just going to warm up the glutes here. Make sure they're doing a proportionate amount of the work for us, okay? So a couple of different positions we could be in. Uh, I'm going to be hanging out like this to start. What we want to be doing is we want to make sure we're squeezing the muscle. Uh, if my hands are on my hip here, squeezing the muscle that's at the very top of your butt, right where your waistband would be, kind of thing, right where my thumb is. And I'm going to do this a little bit lower here. I'm going to do this 10 times. Now, say in this position, I'm not really feeling that squeeze on that muscle. Maybe you'll straighten your body out a little bit more and do that. And that's doing it for you. Or maybe even some people might feel this one a little bit more by stretching my foot out a little bit more, makes my leg a little heavier, that might give you that feeling. But again, we're aiming for targeting right here and we're trying not to feel the front of the hip quite so much. We do the same thing on the other side. Nice and slow on the way down. 10 reps. Again, whatever position, you feel in that hip flexor, in that uh, glute med the most, and not in the hip flexor. All right. Okay. Squint at my board here. Okay, so we're going to do a YTW. Um, this is just a shoulder activation drill. So what we're aiming to do here is keep the shoulders kind of down and back as we do this. Obviously, anytime the arms are overhead, they're going to elevate a little bit. We're not crunching the shoulders up to the ears, okay? So the reason it's a YTW is while I'm laying on the ground, just I'm going to do it while I'm sitting here. Um, when I'm laying on the ground, I'm going to make a Y shape, and a T shape, and a W. And I'm going to do that each of those uh, three times. Nice and slow. next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a plank. Um, we're going to put a uh, leg lift into that, okay? So basically I'm going to have four points of contact with the floor. I'm going to remove one nice and slow. I'm going to start with three leg lifts on each side. Then I'm going to go to 
three shoulder taps on each side. Big point with this one is as I lift my leg, my hips aren't rocking or shifting to the side. Just like that. Squeezing the glute to lift up that leg. If I'm gonna go with the shoulder tap now, I'm gonna widen my stance a little bit. Just like that. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we're gonna go right back into that world's greatest stretch. Hopefully get a little deeper into those stretches now. We've warmed up a little bit. So I'm gonna get right leg forward, left leg back, squeeze glute, push it forward. Hold that forward leg. Just exhale there. And deeper into that stretch maybe. This is the other option, just keeping your hips up, head dips down. Glutes, hips forward. All right, now we're going to get into that squat stretch. I'm just going to show you that from the side this time. Feet slightly wider, shoulder width apart. Pushing the knees out with the elbows, just as upright as you can get it, back as flat as you can get it. And you're going to go into that hamstring stretch. Back into the squat stretch, again trying to get that back straight. Hamstring stretch. Shoulders back again. One more time into the hamstring stretch. And we're going to roll it back. Perfect. Okay, next thing we're going to do is those clamshells. <coughs> As an alternative here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to push up against the wall using that same glute muscle, and I'm just going to do that five times, just because I happen to have a wall right here. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Again, whatever one of those movements, whether it's a clamshell or that straight leg raise out to the side, whatever, gets those glute meads firing up on the back and uh, doesn't have the hip flexors involved quite as much is what we're looking for. Okay, um, we did the prone YTW. Uh, this time we're gonna do something very similar. We're just gonna do it from the standing position. What that's gonna look like is I'm going to bend at my knees, drop my chest forward just a little bit, keeping my back nice and flat. I can do the same thing where I make that Y shape, T shape, W, we'll do it five times. Let's go around. Keeping those thumbs pointed up. There we go, one more. All right. Okay, uh, next thing we're gonna do is a plank with a shoulder tap. Uh, we'll do the leg lift first and we'll do the plank uh, with shoulder tap. Leg lift again, just squeezing my butt. One inch off the floor is plenty. Widen my stance a little bit for the shoulder tap push up. All right. Okay, so hopefully, I'm feeling a little bit warm now. <coughs> if you're not, I can guarantee you'll be nice and warm after the next one. I'm already a little thirsty. Probably more of a result of uh, drinking coffee in the morning instead of water. Usually a little bit of both is a good idea. I opted for the 100% coffee uh, until just now. So I'm probably going to be uh, pretty thirsty. So a bad choice on my part, right? Alright, so the first drill we're going to do is we're going to start with 45 seconds on, uh, 15 seconds off. And we are going to do, I'm going to start with either a high knees or just a jog on the spot. Depending on how energetic you feel, we might want to do that based on how I'm feeling. I'm probably going to start with the high knees, but I might drift into that, uh, um, into that jog on the spot pretty quick. <coughs> Excuse me. Every once in a while, we are going to go into a breakdown on the floor, which is basically, um, we are just going to get down, 
chest down, hands up, just like the force test. Uh, and then we're going to get up as quick as we can, okay? So just a little bit of a demo of that. So I'm doing my high knees, break down, right back into my high knees, okay? So that's nice and energetic. We'll see if I can last a full 45 seconds with that energy. This is kind of like doing uh, five rounds in a row of your rushes. So the energy might drop off a little bit, especially with the high knees. It might turn into more of a, uh, a shuffle kind of thing. That's fine. Uh, as long as you're saving your energy for that down and up. We are going to try to do um, about six or seven of those get down, get ups in the uh, 45 seconds, um, which has us doing them roughly every five to seven seconds. So it's, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of work, okay? But uh, you guys knew you were going to do a lot of work already when you signed up for this. Tighten my watch here so my timer doesn't go flying off. All right. Okay, so once again, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. We're only getting 15 seconds between, so again, this is going to be a lot of work. We might just be getting down, getting up at the end there. That's okay, okay? Once again, high knees is great. If you're going to, you know, ends up being a little bit more of a shuffle, that's fine too. Okay, we're going to start this off in three, two, one, go. High knees, down, right back up, good. Down, back up down, back up, down, good job, we're going to get right back up afterwards, down, down, take time to check my watch, 20 seconds left, down, 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 down. Okay, 15 seconds to breathe. Whew. Already a lot of work. 10 more seconds of rest. Ready? Two, one, go. Let's get down and start. Down. Down. Good job, keep it up. Down. Keep it up. Ten more seconds. Two more get downs. Down. And down. Whew, 10 seconds of rest. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Jogging on the spot now. Down, 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 get down, 10 seconds, left for two more, last one. Good. Whew, that was a lot of work. We're gonna get some bonus rest here. 30 seconds, double the rest. Whew. I'm definitely breathing heavy. Certainly warmed up. All right. Let's go, 10 more seconds. And a 45 second round, okay? Three, two, one, go. And down. Yeah. 
Go away from me to see the damn fall along. Down. Down. Ten seconds. Last one. Go to 30 seconds. Nice deep rest between rounds, guys. A little extended rest on this one. Ten seconds rest. Go hit that last round. Three, two, one, go. Get down. Back up as fast as you can. Halfway. Ten seconds. And time. Whew. Well done. Two minutes of rest. Walk around, breathe a little bit. I'll brief you on the next thing. Whew. Oh, no, always. We'll say fatigue. It's a pretty good one. Hardly ever do I do five rushes in a row, so that makes sense. Whew. Walk around a little bit, catch your breath. If you're tracking your heart rate, try to get it down around 120 or so. Everything's tight, take a little opportunity to give it a little stretch out. Minute and a half here, we'll get into the brief for the next exercise. Give you a nice long rest here. All right, we'll start the brief in another 10 seconds or so. We won't start the next group exercises for at least a minute here. Make sure I'm going to trip over my sandbag. All right, so once again, I've done this drill before with you guys here. Uh, we are going to do the sandbag shuffle back and forth. Five touches on each side, then we're going to step forward and do five sandbag lifts. So, the shuffle, I'm going to start with on this side of your screen. I'm going to go get nice and wide like, it was, like I would. If I'm picking up a sandbag, I should be getting nice and wide. By getting my feet wide, I'm going around the outsides of that sandbag. I'm nice and close to my body. If my feet are narrow, there's nowhere for the sandbag to go, I really have to reach forward to pick it up. It's right underneath me. I can sink my torso more or less straight down. Okay. So whether you're doing this drill or the test, have a slightly wider stance than you generally would during a squat. Usually a good idea to make sure you shove those knees out so your knees aren't ended up getting in your way. And also when you shove your knees out, glutes lock and make your back will be in a little better shape. So there's that. We're going to start right here. I'm going to touch, get up. Just like that. So I'm going to go five on each side. Five right, five left. Okay. Immediately after, step up to my sandbag here. You'll notice my sandbag has handles. The test the sandbag doesn't have handles. So I'm going to try not to use those. But if, as I reach down, I accidentally grab one, I might just go ahead and pull for it. Because this isn't my actual test, I have a little bit of freedom. So do you if you've got a sandbag with handles on it. That's fine, just be aware that they will not be there during the PT test. Okay, so we'll give you a 
about another 30 seconds or so, and then we'll get into this next drill. On the actual PT test, bear in mind you have a five minute minimum standard or minimum requirement before you're allowed to do the next one. We're gonna trim that down a little bit, just a little bit today, okay? In a couple seconds. All right, okay, so for this we're gonna go 30 seconds on, or pardon me, uh, a minute on and a minute off, okay? So we should be able to crush through a couple of these here. We are gonna go for five rounds again. So starting off right here. Three, two, one, go. Touch, shuffle over, and touch. Three, four, four, four five. Over to my sandbag. One, two, three, four, five lifts. 25 seconds in, back over to the shuffle. Back to the left. Ten more seconds. Time for more shuffles. And time. One minute of rest. Take your breather. Up, guys just of note while you're doing that sandbag lift do your very best along with what I just said as far as keeping the sandbag nice and tight keep your back nice and flat as you're going out to pick the thing up you don't want to be rounding a whole bunch or even ending up on your toes if you can get that stance nice and wide keep the feet flat so when you pick it up the back stays flat on the ground. Back stays flat and the feet stay flat on the ground. Whew. Just like that. We got like 10 seconds before we're going again. Let's go back to that shuffle. Actually, you know, we'll pick up where we left off. Go with the sandbag. You left off on the shuffle, do the shuffle. Sandbag, blue sandbag. Ready? Go. Five reps. Step back. Three, four, five. Right back to that lift. Halfway there. Twenty seconds left. Four, five, five. Ten seconds, five more lifts. One minute to run. Getting a little sweaty. That's two of five rounds done. These deep breaths between. We got half of our rest left. If you're having a hard time keeping up, more important than being as fast as I'm being right now is keeping the chest and the back relatively straight as you're touching the floor between each of those shuffles. Uh, if this is a real test, obviously, not only would you have to just get up and shuffle, you'd have to touch that bag as well and then get back over to the other side. 
Okay, so a little bit less time there. It's totally fine. All right, let's get that next round in. Shuffle. Last one. All right, that lift, you got 25 seconds left. Two more rounds. Back with sandbag up. Since I see it, I want to be getting closer to you guys. If you're also regretting trimming your fingernails down just a little bit before you started grabbing the sandbag, you're not alone. Feeling that way myself. Bend a few, a few fingernails on this one. Won't be the last time, I'm sure. <sighs> 15 seconds. Five seconds. I left off on the shuffle. So I'm gonna start with some lifts. Ready? Go. Whew. Just like the test, you can drop that sandbag. Okay, let's show. Awesome. More than half the time left. Get some lifts done. Seconds. Let's do some shuffles. Whew. And time. One more round. Nice deep breaths. Nice deep breaths, guys. seconds of rest left. <clears throat> Alright guys, 20 seconds. Last round, try to go hard. I'm obviously pretty tired on this one. I'm going to start with the lifts. I'm going to start up in about 10 seconds. You're going to go hard, make sure that back stays nice and flat, those feet stay flat on the floor, shoulders stay back on this one, you're not reaching too far forward with the shoulders. Ready? Go! Halfway there, last round, lifts. Twenty seconds, last set of shuffles. Okay, two minutes. 
Good job. We're halfway there. A little over halfway, if that helps. 805, we're going 830, including cool down. So we're doing well. All right, so this next one, we're gonna do a standing march with the sandbag. So just like this right here, 20 seconds, sandbag goes down, jog on the spot, 10 seconds, sandbag on the other shoulder, march. 10 or 20 seconds, pardon me, sandbag down. And repeat this with no rest for five minutes, okay? So this one we're just gonna do straight through, no rest between your rest is that unloaded jog for 10 seconds. Just like the intermittent loaded shuttle, 10 to 15 seconds of work, loaded, followed by 10 to, I guess, 30 seconds of work, um, offloaded or unloaded or loaded. Uh, here we'll keep to 30 second rounds with the uh, 20 meter intermittent loaded shuttle. We'll definitely pass this one. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do, okay. Couple more breaths here. We'll shoot another 20 seconds to rest, and we're going to kick off the intermittent load shuttle. Remember, we're just taking two minutes of rest between each station, doing quite a bit more work than is in each station for the test. So it should get you nice and prepared, especially for this one right here. It's the one that's longest in duration, so the more cardio uh, requirement for the rest of the tests. So it should, uh, this should really get you prepared for that test. All right, so we're going to start her up right away. 20 seconds with this bag on your shoulder, doing that march. Let's do it. Halfway there. Get those knees as high as you can, swing that arm in opposition to your other arm to cover. Ten seconds of jogging. Ten seconds of jogging, pardon me. We're gonna get that sandbag up. Cut that one a little short. I will cut the next one short. All right, get that sandbag up. Time. Pick up. Deep breaths while you're jogging. Switch sides. Stay nice and upright. Not shift your weight too much from side to side. Time. Now we're on spot. Last round coming up. All right, get that right side up.
shot. Last five seconds. Time. Ten more seconds to jog it up to finish up. And that's time. Okay, take a breather. Two minutes. That was not so bad. A little bit more of a recovery compared to the first two, in my opinion. Another 10 minutes of work. guys we got 18 minutes left in the class another eight minutes left to finish this last station up here then we're gonna do a short cool down and be all wrapped up all right so what we're gonna do next is a little bit of a circuit aimed at the sandbag drag obviously my assumption is you don't have a big open space and 200 pounds of sand to drag around ish is what it usually comes to maybe between 200 to 50 depending on the surface lots of different stuff um, but uh, the void does vary a little bit uh, but the consistency of the pull force is the same regardless you don't have all that stuff all i'm assuming we have is a sandbag or ruck or whatever you're using uh, so that's what i'm going to have uh, that's what i'm going to be using as well okay so the first thing we're going to do is make sure those boots are doing what they're supposed to um, and we're going to do that by making sure uh, we're going to doing that by doing a uh, single leg glute bridge. Uh, we're going to do a switch, okay? So we're going to go back and forth between the legs. So, big key with this one is as we lift up one of the legs, you want to make sure that the hips don't sink uh, completely down. That's probably going to happen naturally. You're just going to make sure that you correct. Squeeze those glutes to uh, lift those uh, feet up a little bit, okay? Um, and uh, they don't turn or twist. So if I lift up my right foot, I'm not twisting the side. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so this is me doing my glute bridge. As I lift a leg up, my hip's gonna wanna sink. I'm gonna squeeze my glute, squeeze my abs, squeeze some of that deep core to prevent that from happening. I'm gonna do that for 20 seconds. I'm gonna try to hold for a couple of seconds on each side so I'm not just flopping around, uh, going back and forth. So I'll probably get between five and eight done uh, total. Uh, six and eight if we're doing equal on each side, okay? So it's not gonna be a whole pile of reps. We're certainly not rushing back and forth. Uh, from there, we are going to be doing a sandbag squat. So I'm going to grab my sandbag. I can hold it nice and high in rack position, like for front squat or zercher squat even. Um, and uh, we're going to do some squats again for 20 seconds. Then we're going to do a wall sit. We're going to take a rest. So it's going to be 20 seconds each of those um, with the wall sit and then 20 second or a minute of rest. And we're going to do between three and five rounds of that. Okay? So that squat, let's begin. It's gonna look like this right here. Well, that nice and high up on my chest, just like the uh, uh, sandbag, or just like the drag position. I'm gonna squat down, just like that. As soon as I've done my squats, after 20 seconds of those, I find a spot on the wall, do a 20 second wall sit. Okay. All right. Now that we've more or less caught our breath, let's get into those glute bridges. Okay. Now let's face this way. 20 seconds of each. Ready, three, two, one, go. Hips come up, hands go down for a little bit of support. Not rushing, making sure you're pushing through the heels. Lift those hips up if they start to drop on you. We got six seconds left. All right, sandbags up. We got sandbag squat. This is high on the chest and squat. Over the wall. And that wall sit. Ooh. 
one minute of rest. That wall seat gets me every time. That extra 40 pounds or 20 pounds in front of me, pardon me, 20 kilos, 40 pounds, that's what I meant. Whew, gets me every time. You guys probably don't like the wall seats either. I make you do that all the time. Well, now I have to do it, but just for four more rounds. 30 more seconds of work. Twenty more seconds. All right, guys. Ten more seconds of work, or ten more seconds of rest. Pardon me, and we're gonna get back to work with those glute bridges. Back down the ready position. Ready, go. Five more seconds. All right, stand back up for those squats. Ten more seconds. Everyone's favorite part. Wall sit. Three more rounds. <coughs> Once again, that wall sit really gets me. Feel free to post in the comments whether you think I'm at 90 degrees or not. I'm sure I'll like reading that later on. Right now I might be a little offended though. <sighs> 30 more seconds. If you really notice as you guys are doing that, <coughs> pardon me, uh, that glute bridge, if those feet or those hips are really shifting, like you probably saw mine drop a little bit, it's not a bad idea. You don't have to keep up with me as far as the switches. Squeeze the glutes hard, get the hips up with both feet on the ground, then slowly try to lift the, the foot off. If it really moves when you do that, it's okay. Keep the foot back down. Just try to take weight off of it without li actually lifting your leg up. Even that can be a very challenging drill uh, to accomplish the same goal. Okay, just like that, we're back at it. Hips up, hands down. Time. It looks like I got quite a few less of those done this time. That's okay. Squats. Five seconds left. Everyone's favorite part. Put your wall sit on. One more round. We'll do one more. <coughs> Just one more round. Make sure we get a good cool down in. Keep it inside of an hour for you. Hi, Kristen. All right, guys, 20 seconds left. Last round coming up. I said three to five rounds, right down the middle of four rounds here. All right, five seconds. It's gonna be our last one. Go ahead and get up. In 
into those squats. Wall sits. Just like that, we're done. That tells me I gotta practice my wall sits a little bit. Okay, catch your breath. I'm gonna take a lap. Sandbag out of the way. Using it as a pillow as soon as I turn the camera off. But for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna break. We're gonna start with a couple minutes vertical before we get down on the ground for a cool down here. We made it all the way through to the end. Good job. Okay, so right now we're loosening up that neck a little bit. Two thumbs up, and we're just going to go. Back, nice chest or stretch through the chest. So we're gonna loosen up that upper body a little bit here, chest, shoulders, neck, all that stuff. Thumbs pointing backwards. All right. Next thing, two thumbs up like this. I take my eyeballs, follow my right off my right thumb, pardon me. I'm gonna look at my left thumb, send my right thumb out that way. Follow my left thumb this time. It's my left thumb out that way. We do that three times on each side. Make sure not to rush through it, as I may or may not have been doing just now. Good. Okay, now that we've been upright for a little bit, hopefully your heart rate started to come down. I'm sure mine has. <sighs> Since I'm not quite as uncomfortable as I just was. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna kind of wrap it up with that uh, world's greatest stretch here, or I guess I, I should say start our cool down. With that world's greatest stretch again. Right leg forward, left leg back, squeeze the glutes, push those hips forward. Back over that forward leg. Arm goes up in the air. Hands down, hop that back leg towards the wall behind you. Hand goes up. It's out of the foot. A hamstring stretch. I should get the other option with your knee down. You can feel free to do that one instead. Hamstring stretch again. All right. So, next up, put your end up on your side, just like Keith S right here. Knees stacked on top of knees, hips on top of hips, feet on top of feet. Same thing with your shoulders, okay? So I'm not crunched up like this. I'm right out on top of my shoulder. Hands just like this. I'm gonna exhale, reach forward. Arm goes all the way around. Keep it on the floor as long as I can, and come back here. We're gonna go five reps, just like that. As I get up to here, make sure you don't roll like this. We're gonna keep the hips on the floor, the knees, you wanna keep top pressure, that top knee on top of that bottom knee. Tuck my shirt in here. One more rep. Try to exhale through the sticky points. 
All right, same thing on the other side. Stacked up, shoulders on shoulders, knees on knees, hips on hips, feet on feet, roughly 90 degrees in the knees and hips. A little tighter on that side. Again, make sure to exhale for those tight spots. minutes left here. Alright, so we're going to get after these adductors here, the inner thigh a little bit. I'm going to get some upper body in there while we're at it. So one leg, one knee on the floor. I'm just going to gently rock those hips back. Try to keep that back nice and flat. We're doing 10 reps here, just rocking back ever so gently. I'm going to stretch from here to here. Two more reps. Get back as flat as you can as you do this. Before we switch sides, we're going to go five reps. Elbows towards the hand. Exhale, look up towards the ceiling, past your shoulder. Exhaling on the way up again. Awesome. Just so you guys can get a view of that, I'm taking my left leg out to the side this time. I'm just rocking my hips back, I'm trying to keep my back relatively flat. Five reps like this. All right. Okay, got about a minute or so left. I'm just going to drop the head down, your butts on your heels. Got to reach over to one side, lean into that shoulder ever so slightly. Three times. Whew. All right, guys. Okay, so that is all I've got for you today. Uh, thank you for coming out, doing a little bit of workout with me. If uh, you're alive, I appreciate you doing that. If you're watching recorded, thanks for working out with uh, Past Rich here. Hopefully, he's just as fit as this guy. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming out, working hard, and I will see you guys next time.